Hello YouTube, my name is Amuli and you are watching Tube Mint. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix audio issues on Microsoft Windows 10. And I'm going to show you a few different ways how you can troubleshoot and find the exact issue on your system and fix that. So if you have Windows 7, 8, 8.1 and obviously 10, there are going to be probability that you'll find one solution that that is going to work for your system and situation so the very common issue that people find and mistake that people commit on windows desktop is basically like this they will insert the jack in the wrong port so there are two options if you're using desktop so you have you can insert jack at the back so if you insert it in the second from the right or from the left in the basically in the middle that's the right right port for the speaker okay and make sure that's so you try a different port if it's not working in the first place the second option every desktop has is basically you'll get two ports in the front of the desktop so make sure you have inserted the port in the right jack okay that's the first thing you can do the second thing is if it's not red if it's grayed basically uh, that means that the volume is very low okay so what you need to do you can increase the volume from here so I'm talking about this thing here so you can see my volume is 90 above if it's like that that means you need to increase the volume okay that's the second thing you can do to fix your audio issue on windows 10 the also go ahead and make sure that you have selected the right output source okay so if you have more than one output source for your audio you will have a drop down arrow here so click that arrow and select the right one and in case if you're using a, a USB microphone sorry headphone go ahead and select that USB headphone from here okay so USB can be like inserted on any port on your desktop next is basically you can troubleshoot the sound problems by clicking this button here you can go to sounds and you'll see here you've got few options recording and playback so go to playback okay so make sure you go to sound sounds and go to play playbacks we are fixing the sound issue not the recording okay you can go ahead and check the recordings as well make sure your levels are to an optimum number and then that's about the microphone basically input okay so we are going to fix the playback which is output so go to playback and if you see everything is in grade mine is working that's perfectly fine so basically what you need to do just double click on it or you can go to properties by clicking this properties if it's disabled go ahead and enable it you can see enable so go ahead and enable it and then go to properties and here you can see again you got few options you can go to balance left right balance okay enhancements so if you see anything checked go ahead and disable it okay fix your get it working and then you can go ahead and use some enhancements okay like boost bass boost virtual surround like that okay in our under advanced we don't have anything only the option I have is DVD so this is not a problem it's just that it's going to give you a different experience altogether so CD or DVD is okay special sound okay I don't have much options on your system you may have if you're using a different like specific hardware 
for sound okay so go ahead and just make changes apply and hit okay and you should see something appear here okay the next option is basically we will go ahead and check if the driver is up to date okay and if that's the case go ahead and click on the start menu and then look for device manager okay so go ahead and launch your device manager and you can see you have two options sound basically this is speaker audio input and output and at the bottom as well sound video game controller so this is basically almost this is for speaker so this is very specific that we have speaker you can go ahead and update the driver select the automatic you can also go ahead and disable it and enable it again functionality so i do not want to do this right now but you can definitely try it okay and then once you're done here and still not working, you can go ahead and try this second one. Update it. Search automatically. You can also go ahead and look for any hardware changes. So I don't have any hardware changes. What it's going to do is going to refresh everything for you. So check for hardware changes as well. And then one thing you can do here you can go to properties you can have a look at the driver details these are the drivers that it can use i'm going to say okay disable update these are same thing okay so if you've already updated thing a driver from here restarted your operating system still not working then what you need to do simply go ahead and uninstall the uh, device okay i would not do this because i'm just recording on the same device uninstall from both sources and then restart your operating system and it should just update from the microsoft windows 10 repositories wherever it is low in most cases it's locally on your system when you install microsoft windows 10 it downloads sorry uh, installs lots of uh, uh, supported drivers on your system so that should pick up from your system automatically once you uninstall it and restart your operating system okay so these are a few changes that you can make very quickly on a system to fix your audio issue however there are a few other things that you can do so um, the other thing is basically you can download your driver from your motherboard manufacturer's website these are a few options so you can if you already know that your system needs realtek driver you can go to micro so realtek.com like that so most of the uh, motherboard support realtek audio driver so you can go here and then go to downloads and the computer peripheral i c s and pc audio here we go so yeah you can try these things here So you can try because it has the download options so most of people will have uh, on most systems these drivers will work okay so i'll go back again and i try this one okay so these are drivers from microsoft windows okay these are audio drivers you can see high definition audio codec software i'll go back again and i'll try these so these are four options for people out there and systems out there okay you can download it from here if still doesn't work then what do you need to do you probably have a different 
model uh sorry motherboard that doesn't support real tech driver so then you need to know your motherboard type and to know that you simply go ahead and press the windows key and letter r together or simply look for the run box here and type ms info 32 ms info 32 and go ahead and locate this baseboard manufacturer so in my case it's going to be gigabyte and then product which is model number so you want to copy this one okay so just select it and press ctrl c and your system should copy it now go ahead and close it and paste it here and prefix it with the your motherboard manufacturer in my case it's gigabyte like that okay and if you're using google and don't have anything on your browser you should see the very first option from the manufacturer then what you need to do go ahead and select the right version of your gigabyte so go with the latest one i'll go with this one and then go to support so there are so many motherboard manufacturers and they each will have different interface so look just figure that out and then go with your specific operating system windows 10 i'll go with this one and this has everything i need okay so probably the manager as well audio manager okay so go ahead and download it install it and restart your operating system make sure you have selected the route right output source so you may have multiple i have just one okay select the right outsource output source and then you are good to go okay that's the second last option the very last option that is that could be an issue for your system is basically your audio is disabled on the bios okay so what you need to go ahead and do is basically restart your system get into your bios so uh, on my system i go with f12 it depends what system you have just google how you can get into bios for on your system model and then go to your onboard device configuration make sure audio is checked enabled and once it's enabled save it exit of your bios and that should restart your system and that if that was the issue you should have your audio fixed till now if you still have issues go ahead and leave your comment in the comment section i will try to figure that out and help you as soon as possible thank you so much for watching this video please like share and subscribe to my channel bye for now